Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you how to make little baby bows. This one is a neon yellow, looks more green in the picture, but it's got a mint green anchor print ribbon in the middle, and this one's on an alligator clip. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make them on the French barrette clips. Okay, so for your supplies, you will need a roller, a pair of scissors, your glue gun. I use the AdTech high temp. You can use low temp. You can use any kind of glue gun. Just a lighter. You're going to need your choice of ribbon. And again, this is a neon yellow. You're going to need a little strip of ribbon for the center piece around the middle of the bow. You're obviously going to need your clip. And I do believe that's all the supplies. <laughs> okay, so first what you're going to do is to make the size bow that I have. And once it's completed, it is about just a little over two inches. More about two and a half. So it's two and a half inches. So it's a little baby bow. I took six inches of ribbon. You can use any kind of ribbon you prefer. I use the gross grain. It's, it's easier to work with for me. Anyway, so you want to take your lighter and you want to heat seal the ends. This way to prevent, I don't know if you guys can see, to prevent the fraying. So I'm going to cut that off. You just want to heat seal. So you just run the ribbon along the edge of the flame and then you can pull on it and it does not fray anymore. So you want to take the ribbon, sorry, take the ribbon and fold it in half and press until you have a nice crease to where when you open it up You've got a crease in the middle of your ribbon right here. You want to take your glue gun. I'll show you guys here after I added the glue. If my glue gun will work. There we go. You don't need a whole lot of glue. I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not. And then you just fold it over. and press, wiping away the excess glue and throwing that away so that you've got something that looks like this. And you want to take your glue gun again and right here along where you put the glue at the last time, you want to put more glue and fold that to meet in the middle. Okay, so I've got my glue. I'm going to fold it. So that it meets in the middle. Press it. And wipe off the excess glue. And throw that away or set it aside until you are done. Okay, so now you've got something that looks sort of like this. Sorry guys. And then you want to do an accordion fold. To do that, you take it with the seams in the back where you glued, and you want to fold it so that those are on the outside. Okay, so I'll do that again. You've got the seams facing away from you, and you fold the edges towards you so that the seams are on the outside here. And what I do is I add a little glue in the middle right here. I 
add just a little bit of glue. Can you guys see the glue? Just a little bit. And you want to press it. So you've got something that looks like this. But you don't want the glue to go all the way up in the middle to where you can't fold these back. So you, we'll start with the one side. You want to take that edge like this and fold it back to meet this crease that you just put glue in right here. So this is the edge and you want to fold it back so that when it's glued there's no seam in the center. So you add just a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot of glue, just a little bit. And you want to press that seam back to where it sticks, obviously. You let the glue dry. Sorry about the background noise. I live right on the creek. So there's water and there's the nature and everything. So anyway, so you've got something that looks like this now. And you want to take this side and do the same. To where when it's glued you've got something that looks like this so you want to glue that back and again you don't need a whole lot of glue to do these the less glue probably the better because it's less messy but if you ever have any glue strands I don't think I do but you can just take your heat lighter and just run it past it real quick and it'll shrivel it up and make it disappear. So now I'm ready to add my clip. This is the little bow. So for the French Brett clip, if you've never used them before, you just, there's these like little like push things. You just push it and that part will fly open. You want to take this center piece out. It just pulls right out. So you've got the clip, and then you've got the little center piece here. Set the center piece aside, and what I do, don't forget to heat seal everything. So it's heat sealed. What I do is on the little piece that you're going to wrap around the bow like that I take a little like a little piece this piece is about three and a half inches you don't need a whole lot I usually go around my bow twice just to make sure that it's nice and secure so I take a little spot of glue just a little one and I stick it on the inside here where that center piece was you just take it and press that onto there and you want if it's printed you want the print facing up because this is the spot where we're gonna glue the clip to the bow, so you want the print to be on the back or on the outside so that when you wrap it around, it's going to be on the outside of the bow. So, for the baby bows, I don't use a whole lot of glue to glue the clips on. I just take and wear just on the opposite side of where I put that ribbon I just add a little bit of glue and then stick that and make sure it's centered on the back of my bow the clip doesn't have to be centered but you want this ribbon here to be centered with the back of your bow like that and you let that glue dry you just press it for a couple seconds. 
And then I usually take my glue. I don't know if you guys can see this real well. There we go. Put a little bit of glue right on the edge. And I take this ribbon and I wrap it and you want to pull it tight so that it's not sagging. So you want to pull it tight and push and then on the other side I do the same thing and you finish wrapping. So you've got it wrapped around once. And like I said, I usually wrap it around twice just to make sure it's secure. So again, you take your glue, you little put a little bit on, and if you wrap it around twice, make sure it's lined up so that it's not like off-centered so you can see the edges of two different like pieces of ribbon. So you cannot tell that it is double wrapped. Then you want to, again, make sure that it is secure here on the side. And then I've got, sorry, glue strands, got this little bit of extra here. Instead of wrapping it back up and making it noticeable that it's wrapped, I'm going to cut that excess off so you can barely see it when you're looking at it and then you want to heat seal it. Again you always 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 want to heat seal. So then you just add the little baby bow clip, the brick clip back on here. It just fits right in there. You gotta bend it up a little bit so that you put it back in there. You close your clip and you've got your little baby bow. So now you've got one on an alligator clip and a French bright clip. Thank you guys for watching. I know I said I wasn't going to post another video until the 18th of July, but I figured why not do some hair bow videos. So I hope you guys enjoy liking, like the video, comment. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, I'll post another video here of all of the bows that I've done. They're in a tote. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe.